working on both of our ends, I think, to, to further those conversations. It, it gives that collaborative approach uh, going forward. Yes, uh, it, it seems like that's going to be a go-ahead on both sides, I believe. Uh, that's mm -hmm. what you yeah. mentioned, let's hope. Um, okay, and uh, lastly here, uh, we can't keep you too long. And in Edmonton, um, is there a file or uh, something going on in, the, in that area that, uh, that, that you know, we'd like to hear about and hear our, our fans there? Yeah, well, uh, thanks, DJ. So in 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 Edmonton, locally, there, there's one I'll, I'll, I'll touch on. Um, but in, in terms of of, uh, of Parliament's role and and what we've been able to accomplish through through a lot of the conversations have had in, in Edmonton and across the country, for that matter, are the our movement on the compassionate care bill. Uh, this is something I passed at a provincial legislature, but that we're we're so close to passing in, in Parliament. We're at, at third and final reading in Parliament to get a private member's bill and a minority government to this far with unanimous consent of all parties to, to support it has been been huge, and it, it essentially extends the. The care leave after the death of a loved one. Uh, right now, we're looking at uh, two weeks uh, uh, of leave. So once you've once you've taken some some leave, you, you your your loved one passes away. It's now you're essentially required to go back to work. In a lot of cases, what we're trying to do is change the labor code. So you get that two extra weeks to, to plan a funeral, to take care of a loved one, and, and so on and so forth. So from a policy perspective, that's uh, that's a, a shameless plug uh, from my uh, my hand. Uh, from a local Edmonton perspective, there's for if your Edmonton listeners will will know there's a major road in Edmonton. It's called Twilliger Drive. It goes right through my constituency. It's I, I've driven on it since I uh, was a kid, and you know it's it's stoplight after stoplight after stoplight. We finally under the the Jason Kenney government, we got support to to make it a, a, a an expressway. It's been something that's been talked about again since I was a. I was a kid. Uh, we ran our campaign, the last election campaign, with billboards up saying, "You know, we need to make uh, Twilliger Drive an expressway." So we got the provincial support for it. We have the municipal support. Uh, we've had that for a while now uh, under a, a federal conservative uh, government. Uh, hopefully, get that that federal support to to really just make it a you know it's a it's a huge uh, headache for a lot of a lot of commuters. Uh, in, Edmonton's grown significantly in the last uh, few years, and the amount of growth has happened on the far south end of the city, which is my constituency. And to get through from the south end to the downtown, one of the inevitable route uh, seems to lead you through uh, Twilliger Drive at some point. So we're trying to get that into an expressway. We feel like we're so close and we just need that federal uh, push over the edge. All oh, right, on. Hopefully that goes through us pretty soon. Yeah, and nothing, uh, everything that knows who was, and it lived in this big city, it's traffic. It's, it's always an issue. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're flying there. Yeah. Okay, thank you uh, for coming to Safe Space Cafe. Uh, have you, General, and uh, have a good day. Yeah, I appreciate it, DJ. Thank you. Cheers, man. You. Yeah. So I'll uh, send a uh, an email to you before it goes up or anything like that. Just make sure there's no. Yeah, you know, sounds good. In there. Okay. Great. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate. Yeah. It. Yeah. Thanks for doing this. This is a great idea. Okay. Fantastic. Thanks. Okay. Have a good day. Chat soon. Bye. Yeah. Forget to like, dislike, subscribe, and comment. Say Space Cafe. And always have a good day.